Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about HackerRank platform. For those who are new to HackerRank, let me tell you that this is a coding platform where you can practice your coding skills. So today in this video, I will tell you how you can use HackerRank effectively both for beginner and advanced level programmers. As we know, today we have a lot of coding platform like this. We also have CodeShape, LeetCode, CodeForces. So I have already made videos on LeetCode and CodeShape. You can check out them from the i button or from the link in the description. Here we are on hackerrank.com. We are on the home page. So here on the home page, you can see there is a dashboard where we have different cards here. Okay. On problem solving, Java, functional programming. And then if you see here, we have different options like algorithm C, Python, data structures. And then if you go below, there are also few tutorials. Okay. Where you have something like learn to code in 30 days, 10 days of statistics, 10 days of JavaScript. So this kind of tutorials are also there. So how to start like what to do first so first i'll talk about the beginners for beginners who are uh, starting their competitive programming journey and they are interested in participating in co uh, competitive programming so what they can do first is the very basic thing which is required for any type of competitive programming is data structures so for those who are beginners i would suggest that you should start with data structures so the very basic thing which will be required in your competitive programming journey is data structures. You have to be very good and confident in data structures. So you can simply select this data structure option from here. And you can start solving problems from here so that you can become confident in data structures and you can start using them in your coding problems. Okay. So here, if you see, we have uh, these tags where you can simply choose one of them. So for solving data structures problem, you can select difficulty level. So if you are a beginner, I would suggest that you go with easy problems. Once you solve 20 to 25 problems, you should be able to go to the next level. And then there also you have to solve multiple problems so that once you become confident around these problems, you can go to the next level. And also if you see, we have this subdomain option where you can simply check one of them so that it will filter out only uh, only problems with a specific topic. So let's say if I select arrays, you will get problems with the arrays topic only. And also you can select multiple topics like link list, trees, and then you can get problems like that only. So once you become confident at data structures, what you can do next is you can simply go to the problem solving section. So if you see, we have this problem solving section where you will get different varieties of problem. Uh, you can again so, uh, select different uh, level of difficulty level so if you are a uh, beginner you can select basic problem solving or you can select problem solving with intermediate difficulty level so in that way you can simply select any of the checkbox and start solving these problems so here in the problem solving section you will get problems where you might need to use multiple data structures or single data structure and this will definitely help you to enhance your coding skills so after completing your data structure you can simply start solving this problem so that you will be much more confident in problem solving after solving multiple problems from this section you will see that there is an improvement in you and you should be able to solve a lot of problems from here so what to do next after you become confident in problem solving then you should start competing in contest so there is this option compete where you see there are two options active contest and the archive contest so here you will find different contests where you can participate and uh, enhance your skills participating in contest will be very similar to a interview where you will be given some problem and you will be asked to solve within some specific time right so it will help you to develop problem solving skill within time constraint so this is something which is very important to practice so that you will feel confident in your interviews so yeah these are some basic steps which you can follow while you starting with your competitive programming journey so once you become confident in problem solving and participating in contest what you can do next is you can simply apply for jobs and you can go through the openings whatever you feel like suits you best you can simply and whatever the job description suits you you can simply apply to that so let me tell you how this works so let's say if you want to apply for this backend engineer you simply need to click on this and here once you click apply what they will do they will give you two to three problems which needs to be solved within some specific time so once you will be able to solve this problem and you will definitely get a call from one of the recruiter for interviews so that's one way where you can uh, use your skills to get a job there are also different uh, options where you can uh, practice specific language like java or python or ruby or c plus plus you can simply go to one of them, uh, whatever you prefer, and then you can simply brush up your or learn your uh, language specific things. Okay. 
and then simply you can start with data structure and problem solving afterwards once you become confident in one of the programming language because that is the first step you should be knowing one of the programming language well enough so that you can easily implement your thought process right and also if you can go to your profile there will be a lot of thing uh, these are some certification thing let me show you so here if you go in the certification sec section you will see that you will be provided these certificates once you solve let's say i have solved few problems of problem solving you will be provided a certificate which you can showcase in under your linkedin profile or somewhere right so this is a good thing you can do various certification here okay and if you scroll down you will see there are a lot of topics which you can choose based upon your aspirations and then you can definitely do the certifications these are free you will uh, get some pdf like this apart from that you can simply go to your profile to track your performance you can simply have all the things here you will have verified skills like what certification you have achieved till now then the batches these batches basically you get uh, once you solve different number of problems in a specific section okay uh, and then also you can track your progress here in the graph and also this graph so yeah for me i'm not doing this uh, after my college days so it's empty right now but you can definitely track it down use hacker rank effectively uh, as i mentioned that if you are a beginner start with data structure problem solving once you go to the advanced level you can start applying for job you can start participating in contest also in contest if you participate uh, regularly you will see there are different competition going on uh, on different platform like lead code and code chef so once you are comfortable you can participate in any contest on any platform and sometimes you will see there are a lot of rewards attached to it so you should always participate in such contest okay and also one thing one key point here to notice is whenever you are you are starting or you are in between your competitive programming journey make sure that you are consistent you are solving problems on daily basis because consistency is a key which will help you to improve your coding skills okay and also one very important thing about this coding platforms like hacker rank hacker earth code forces lead code code chef is that it it helps you to create a profile right once you solve a good amount of problems it shows that you have solved this many problems of easy medium and difficulty level which basically is a proof that you are good at problem solving right so you can use this profile while applying for any job on also if you are asking for referrals on linkedin you can definitely share these profiles with any any of the connection you feel like and definitely they will re refer you based upon your performance okay so use this platform smartly to grab job interviews or job referrals so i hope that's clear about the hacker rank if you want me to cover other platforms do comment in the comment section i'll definitely make a video on that so for now that's it about this video if you learn something from this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel also if you are new to this channel please check out my competitive programming playlist on youtube I have uploaded a lot of lead code problems and solutions there and I also discussed how to approach them in your interviews. So if you are interested do check out. That's all about this video. If you learn something from this video please hit the like button and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press that bell icon so that you get notified for our upcoming new videos. Thank you for watching.